would like to welcome you at the next part of my tutorial. Now we'll be dealing with uh, painting skin and we'll start uh, by painting uh, her leg. As you can see, I've painted already, at least finished the airbrush stage of painting uh, on one of her, her legs. You can uh, see clearly uh, that the, the light is coming from this direction as, as the leg is quite considerably lighter here and uh, here you can see the shadows uh, and this approach we will continue uh, on, on this leg so uh, probably here will be on this line somewhere as you can see actually from the light uh, this will be the line of light that is coming from our main light source and probably I will be uh, trying to put some extra colors here on her uh, on her uh, on this part that it's reflection either of, of her skin or also of the flower that she is sitting on uh, as you can see the um, skin is quite pale this is what we were uh, talking about in the first uh, preparation part where I've discussed that we are looking for a gothic uh, look with uh, dark ornaments and dark elements like the wings with strong colors with good and big contrast to her pale uh, pale skin. You can see that also uh, we I introduced a little bit of magenta on, or purplish tones on the skin in the shadows to match the the wings and the, the, the flower color. Our ornaments probably will be also dark red uh, but we will be dealing with later. Now I will concentrate on the, the how I airbrushed the leg. I'm painting it separately uh, which helps me to uh, rotate my model and uh, reach all the parts and all the angles that I, I need to, to reach in order to achieve um, that, 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 uh, that effect with airbrush. So it makes it much easier to, uh, to rotate because when if I would paint like this, it would be harder to uh, to reach those spots. Okay, so let's begin. We will start. I will start by applying uh, a layer of magenta which appears in also other parts of my miniature and it helps me to bring everything together and give the feeling of wholeness. I'm applying uh, magenta to, to airbrush but unlike with the wings I don't dilute it that much it will be slightly more pigmented as i'm painting over black so i need i need some pigment in order to see uh, the effect here you can see how how it, what color is applied and uh, in this step, I am applying mostly from the above, of, uh, from the light source, but also I am trying to, to reach a little bit of shadows to give them a, slight, a little bit of color. Now I'm drying the paint.
Okay, I let the paint dry now. Okay, at this step it's not that important to uh, have very uh, even uh, layer, it's fine, I, it just, uh, it just uh, to add a little bit of color to ho whole area, uh, not to have black and uh, make it a little bit warmer. Uh, in next step I will add a little bit of orange and white to magenta uh, in order to go from magenta a little bit to warmer tones like orange and peachy uh, uh, peachy orange which would be uh, created by combining those two okay i'm missing mixing those three uh, magenta is not that big component anymore i would like to have more orangey peachy tone Okay, so I'm putting this mix to my airbrush. Yes, uh, and again, here we have uh, not that diluted paint as we we used uh, during uh, painting the wings, as we are applying the paint over much darker, uh, much darker surface. You can see the color and now I will apply it mostly from uh, this side not from the shadow, shadow side but from the side where the, the my main light is coming from but as you can see it's much more pale than it was on the white paper pale and desaturated compared to what we've seen there. But when we apply a few layers it starts to uh, going into the direction of this color. Okay, next step we'll be adding even more white as we are going to, to very pale fresh flesh and I will also start um, targeting a little bit more 
directly some spots to create the first highlights using the airbrush. Remember that I've painted the, uh, the, the element mostly from this direction and this is what, because I wanted to, to leave the shadow here uh, which is uh, important that uh, we, we keep the shadow and to see the, this shadow line also in our main view. Okay, now I'm mixing orange with white. Actually, a little bit too much orange. As we are going to quite pale skin, this is the tone I, I will put into my airbrush. Okay, so I am applying my peachy tone to the brush. I will add a little bit of water, but again, much less than in wing stages. This is how it looks. And again, I apply it mostly. Uh, first, I will mark my uh, line of light. On and highlight of on my uh, on uh, on this part of the leg. It it corresponds to what we've talked about at the beginning that the line. of light will be coming on this area so we can see it well in my main view I will also make the light on her front of the leg and also on this muscle a little bit to emphasize it a little bit more. can't forget about the feet and also the ankle. We don't want to need to worry about that the color becoming too desaturated. We'll be adding the saturation also in the later steps of airbrush painting.
we still kept the the shadow on this uh, on this part. Uh, during the airbrushing, sometimes it happens that uh, there are some um, dirt or some very small uh, hair or fabric material, and uh, if you notice that, I'm the, very gently removing them with with a sharp knife and at the uh, early stages of the the airbrush it should be able to cover it without uh, much damage to the uh, to the colors and uh, but it's crucial to remove them as soon as we notice them because later it may be much 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 more difficult to uh, to remove them remove them from the model unless somebody wants to leave those scratches uh, as they turned out quite natural okay now i'm mixing even more white it's becoming uh, very very bright tone as we are aiming for really pale skin we need to add quite a lot of bright tone but it's still no, not white it's still not white And uh, I uh, repeat the similar steps I did on uh, the last uh, with the last color. So I will again mark the line of light that it will be somewhere here. Maybe I will also put a little bit more light to the side. Okay, I will use now slightly off-white uh, color. I will add very small amount of cold yellow to the white. It's almost white, but still a little bit yellowish vibe. Okay, the color, it may seem white, but it's uh, slightly yellowish. And again, I will mark my line of light. and a little bit from bigger distance just to uh, blend it together
Okay, let's make a small comparison to the leg we I've painted before. Yes, our right now is much less saturated and uh, on this leg we can see much more yellowish uh, vibe and a little bit more reddish. This is will be added in the later steps using very very subtle glazes. But before we go there I will apply last final layer and it will be pure white uh, but I will use uh, golden titanium white which is uh, glossy and not um, matte like, like um, chimera white in order to achieve slightly glossy um, finish on the most highlighted parts. Okay, I have pure uh, glossy white in my um, airbrush and I'm using glossy white because the skin usually isn't uh, perfectly matte and uh, it reflects sometimes a little bit so... Um, but it, this will be... The effect will be very, very subtle. And I am applying it only in uh, the highest uh, light mm, line of light, the highest peak. Okay, and now I will add some tones in order to um, bring back the saturation. So I will use first very, very subtle yellow filter and uh, this will be achieved by using um, NAS NASDAQ yellow contrast paint, which is Oh. Uh, which is very uh, and it will be very very diluted and uh, the effect will be very very subtle I will be using very diluted Nasdaq yellow it's a few drops of it and actually it's almost pure water It's really it has, it's more like a filter than than a paint because I don't want this skin to become yellow. I only want to make it slightly warmer in tone. And I will apply um, mostly uh, from bottom and from the above and not directly to the brightest parts. Probably you don't see much difference.
defect is very subtle, but slightly we are getting uh, and receiving slightly warmer tones. Uh, for now, uh, we'll um, uh, skip the, the, the more yellow. We maybe we'll get back to it later when we apply some other uh, colors. In next step, uh, I will be going with a similar approach with to apply a filter, very very diluted paint, even more than uh, diluted than glaze. I would say with those uh, with a mix of those two mainly it will be blood angels red with slightly slight amount of griffhound orange okay so this is the effect the paint has on um, white paper so it's very very delicate and i will Apply it first from this from the shadow direction. Okay, before continuing, okay, maybe a little bit from this direction too. Before continuing, we'll compare again to uh, the leg we had before. Okay, it's getting closer to the look we we had on the the, the first leg. It's not as desaturated as uh, first uh, comparison and I, I would like to remind you that we are looking for very bright uh, skin tones that's why and very pale that's why it's so so bright and also I'd re remind that here on the uh, shadow part we also would like to introduce some color from the flower, right? We, where it makes the reflection of the flower. In order to give the leg a slightly more natural tone than uh, this um, violet tone here, I will uh, mix a little bit of um, greenish tone to to my airbrush Gr warm warm uh, green with uh, some yellow so probably i will mix now those three uh, points so yellow orange and green and i will apply them again with very very delicate filter like those previous two okay again we have very diluted all it's almost water just colored water this is the effect on white paper so it's uh, yellowish green and again i apply it from the shadow part Those filters have 
very small effect and it's hard, sometimes hard to uh, even notice uh, when I apply the burst but giving everything together uh, they, they, they change slightly the, the skin tone. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, compare uh, the uh, both flags once more. Okay, I think they are more or less the color are matching. Even now, I think I have created a little bit more yellowish tone here than on that foot, but. We have to remember that she's sitting on a flower, so maybe it's a reflection of the ground. So we don't have to um, exactly copy the same colors on both legs. It just needs to look like they are creating the one uh, one piece. They are uh, looking good together. And I think this is what we've managed to achieve. And now I will um, add a slightly a slight reflection on this part of her tie okay i have decreased the uh, pressure in my airbrush and also and i have pure white in my and quite diluted white in in it you can see that when dried and i will Mm, put this mm, white here in order to later cover it with a different color with magenta uh, or a glaze of magenta uh, which will represent the reflection of, of the flower of the flower color but I don't want it to be uh, too strong so maybe even now the uh, I have to dilute a little bit more the white. Okay, I've diluted white even more, so the effect will take even slower. So okay, and this is probably some angle of our main um, main view. And now I will uh, put some magenta, magenta there. Maybe only slightly, a little bit of this here, just to elongate it slightly. Okay. So in order to slightly desaturate magenta, I will add a very little of red and uh, also black to. Uh, to make it a little bit darker and less intensive and uh, com combined with uh, white to be a little bit more toward red than pink. Okay, so I'm taking magenta and a little of red and black. Maybe a little bit more red. And I am putting it to my airbrush. And I dilute it quite considerably. I think I will add even more red and uh, 
red and a little bit of black too. Okay, now it's a little bit darker and less violet. Okay, I, I decreased the pressure in my airbrush to let better control um, the flow. And I'm covering Later, if I found it too uh, too dark or not intense enough, I can still work on it uh, with brush. It's just the first step and we'll compare later with the f flower color intensity. And if we found it uh, too, uh, too dark, we can still apply a few, a little bit more black to the mix and for example apply it from this shadow even the shadow part even more i will apply it slightly more and we will now compare both legs and we'll see how they combine okay um, Maybe later, with brush, we'll slightly uh, desaturate uh, the um, purple here, as maybe because of the, the, the leg on this part, it will not reflect that much of, of the flower color. But we will see uh, later on. This will be done with the brush. This is the end of the uh, airbrush part of painting both of the legs.